Okay, so we are doing lesson 13-7. This is some of our classwork on it in case you need to rewatch it again tonight for homework, okay? So we're down on page 710. Convince me. What equivalent fraction names can you write for four using denominators of one, two, and four? So write a fraction line and have that equal whole number four. Write a fraction line and have that equal whole number four. Notice that my whole number four is taking up both parts of that fraction, correct? And then we want a third fraction line and whole number four, right? So the first one, let's work with a denominator of one. Where are you gonna put a denominator? Denominator down, where's it going? Down, okay. What number divided by one equals four? four. Class, shout it out. Four. Right. So four once equal four. four. Four ones equal four. Okay. We need a denominator of two. What number divided by two equals four, class? Eight. 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 Divided by 2 yeah. equals 4. And we need a denominator of 4. What number divided by 4 equals 4? Think about it. Think of a division. Some number divided by 4 equals 4. I'm going to count to 5 and then you're going to shout it out. Okay, I heard one divided by four equals four. Is that correct? No. no. I heard four divided by four equals four. Isn't four divided by four one? Yeah. What number divided by four is equal to four? Sixteen. Now, let's look at these numbers. Let's look at these fractions and see if we can understand. Okay? The first one is four over one equals four, right? And then we had eight over two, eight halves is equal to four. And then we had 16 fourths is equal to four, correct? Yes. Do we have those? Okay, so let's look at a picture of those. Our denominator is one, correct? Which means this pizza is divided into how many parts? One, one. do I need to do anything? No. no, okay. And how many of these do I have? Four. I have four holes that I did not divide four whole, four pieces of one hole. So one, two, three, four. How many pizzas do I have? Four. four. Okay, let's look at the halves. So now here's a pizza, and I've divided into half, correct? One half and two half. Two halves. How many halves do I need to have? Eight. Eight. So that's two, four, six, Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight halves. Does everyone agree with that? So how many whole pizzas do I have? Four. Four. Okay. Here I have a pizza and it's divided into how many parts? How many parts? Four. Four. Okay, so there's four fourths. How many fourths do I need? There's another four fours, four and four is eight. How many is this? Four, eight, 12. How many, how many fours do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 fours, correct? Yes. How many whole pizzas is that? Four. Is that four whole pizzas? Yes. Is that four whole pizzas? Yes. Is that four whole pizzas? Yes. Do you have a question? Okay, you can't wait a few minutes until I'm done with this. Okay, use the bathroom pass and um, Ms. Elder, will you go with him so I don't have to have someone else leave the bathroom? Okay. All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at some of the, we're gonna do some of the, a couple of the homeworks for tonight so that that way you have some of them written in your book, but then also you have the examples tonight on this video. So go to page 713. And then when we go into our um, 
station rotation, we'll do the independent practice ones on the bottom together too. So you should have a good grip of it by the time you leave. But if not, you have this video for you. Yes? Uh, we're not going to do the number line part, right? We are not going to do the number line part. It's, we don't need it. Mm -mm. Well, yes, you will on here. On this part, it's just saying, it, it's just saying complete the number line. That, I mean, it's, it has nothing to do with trying to find necessarily the equivalent fractions. And that's good practice. To, to, they've already divided it up into, oh, no, they didn't. Oh, look, look, look. Six. So they, they have broken this one up. One, six, two, six, three, six, four, six, five, six. Don't forget to write six, six for that one, right? Seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, six, eleven, six, twelve, six, right? Does it make sense? That whole number two is 12, six. What's 12 divided by six? Two. two. Okay. Here though, on the thirds, is everyone seeing this on the thirds? Yeah. You have to divide this into thirds. If you're gonna divide into thirds, how many lines do you draw? Two. two. You have to draw two lines in between each whole number. So see where whole number one is? Yeah. You need to draw two lines there. Did you do that? Then in between one and two, you need to divide that into three equal parts, which means two lines. Does that make sense? Then in between three and four, you have to divide into thirds, which means two equal parts. I mean, two lines. And then how many lines are you gonna draw between three and four? Does that make sense? Now, you need to complete each number line. So let's do this one together. What is this going to be? It's third. So all of our denominators are going to be three, including whole number one. You cannot forget whole number one. Yes. It can. It's just called an improper fraction. It can, it's just, it means that it's more than one. It means that it's bigger. And as you get into older grades, you're gonna learn how to change that into how many holes and how many leftovers. But in third grade, we're just gonna leave it that way. Okay? So, can you write in how many thirds each one of these has? Okay, so did you count with me? One third. Okay, good. So, did you stop and check at your whole numbers? Is three divided by three one? Yes. Good. Is is Six divided by three, two. Yeah. Is nine divided by three, three. Yeah. And is 12 divided by three, four. Yeah. Okay, good. That's, that's what we want to check. Okay? Now, when you want to divide this into fourths, you kind of have to cover up the second part. You don't want this whole line divided into fourths. So you, need, you need the numbers mm -mm, in between zero and one to be divided into four equal parts, which means how many lines? Okay, so... Don't do it now. This will be part of your homework, but you need to divide this. You need to draw three lines in here to divide this. Then the same from here, draw three lines. Then number all of those. Check your whole numbers that, that at one and two, the division makes sense, okay? All right, let's just do a couple down here just to make sure we have it, okay? Whole number three, this should be a big three. I wish they'd make these nice and big for you. I like my whole numbers really big. Okay, so our answer is basically that we have three holes. Like we have three, for number five here, like we have three whole pizzas. That's what they're telling us by this three hole. There you go. That's what they're telling us, right? That we have three whole pizzas. So what number divided by one equals three? Think about it. Don't shout it out until you know. 
what number divided by one? These are all divided by into one part, right? How many of them do we have? How many holes, how many whole pizzas do we need to have three whole pizzas? Three. Three. So three divided by one equals three. Now this one is going to have a denominator of thirds, which means we're taking each one of our pizzas and breaking it up into thirds. So what number divided by three equals three? Or how many thirds do I need in order to have three whole pizzas? 10. 10. I don't wanna call people's names, I'm videoing it. Yeah, oh yeah, the answer is not 10, I'm calling on person number 10. I'm glad you knew I was wrong though, good job. Nine, Nine. very good. So. Nine thirds is equal to whole number three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I have three whole pizzas and I divide them into thirds, I need nine pieces. I'm gonna get nine pieces. Does that make sense? And it's division. Nine divided by three is three, okay? Let's look at number nine down below. Okay, you're gonna do the same for th these other ones here that you did there. Okay, you just have to think what number divided by one equals two, what number divided by four equals two. Does that make sense? Draw the pictures. You know you have two holes. If you only divide them into one equal part, how many do you have? If you have two holes and you divide them into four equal parts, how many little parts do you have? Or use your division. What divided by four equals two? Or two times four equals what? You can work backwards too. Okay. All right. Right. I mean, we do understand that, right? If it's whole number two mm -hmm. and we want to ask ourselves what number divided by four equals two, we have our what number divided by four equals two. Can't you multiply backwards? Two times four equals, right? You can work backwards. So this number times that number equals that number. Okay. So 12 thirds is what we have. They want to know what is this whole number? We're kind of working backwards. What is 12 divided by three? Four. four. Okay. And check it was this one. Is four divided by one also four? four. Then we're great. So good. <coughs> mm -hmm. Four is your answer. Let's think about this one. What is 18? Don't write it down because I want you doing for homework. But what is, what is 18 divided by three? Six. And is that the same as six divided by one? Yes. So you're, don't write it down, but your answer would be whole number six. Does that make sense? Okay, let's stop here and go into our station rotations.